I've been reading that the brain is like a muscle. That's why getting over a death is so hard, because your brain has been trained to feel things for a person. When they go away, your head is still operating under the impression that it should feel those things for that person, like muscle memory. I think we'll hold off on the will for today. Do I look older to you? I feel like I've aged a lot. No. Yes, your husband just died. You're allowed. My God. Couldn't really love you anymore. You've become my ceiling. I wanted to thank you both for this year. I would like to take us to Paris for the weekend. We all deserve some joy. Yes, thank you. Where are we staying? That was part of the trailer for the new Netflix romance drama, Good Grief. It was just released earlier this month, starring Dan Levy, who also directed the film. It's just one of the great things you can stream this month. Joining us now with five great options is lifestyle expert Josh McBride. Josh, nice to see you. I feel like that's a different role for Dan Levy. I feel like we're used to seeing him in a more comedy role, no? Yeah, and I feel like I'm in my right. feels now. Yeah. Yeah, that hit I feel like we always see him in this sort of comedic, funny role. Uh, and even just the trailer for me got me emotional. So uh, I'll give you a little synopsis if you didn't catch it there. So it's called Good Grief. It centers around Mark, uh, played by Dan Levy, uh, who was content living in the shadow of his larger-than-life husband, Oliver. Now, uh, Oliver unexpectedly dies. That's no surprise. If you see that in the trailer. Uh, Mark's world shatters, sending him and his two best friends, Sophie and Thomas, on a soul-searching trip to Paris that reveals some hard truths uh, that they each sort of needed to face. Now, this is, like you mentioned before, Dan Levy's debut as a feature film writer and director. It's gotta be hard to do that. I always wonder how they do that. Uh, if you're looking for a movie to really like get into your feels uh, and really cry it out, this is a good one. You can catch Good Grief on Netflix. Well, it's such a universal feeling that people don't really talk about. So maybe a good way to kind of broach that with a lot of yeah. your family members. But um, going from one to one extreme to the other, this is something that people are really talking about lately, the prison confessions of Gypsy Rose. I I'm uh, like in cat like I cannot get enough of this story right? just because it's so interesting. Uh, so uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, you've heard this name a lot in the recent weeks, uh, is giving more insight into her life uh, in the Lifetime docu series, The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Now, the six episode series, which premiered January fifth, features exclusive interviews with Gypsy before she was released from prison on December 28th, only a few weeks ago, 2023. Now, Gypsy serves eight years in prison for her role in the killing of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Now, uh, uh, just for clarity here, uh, a lot of people go, well, what's, what, what happened, why? Uh, now, Gypsy was a victim of something called Munchausen by proxy, a form mm -hmm. of abuse in which a guardian may seek attention or sympathy uh, by making their child ill or exaggerating their illness. You can catch this on Hulu. This, uh, I mean, you've, if you haven't seen her on social media lately also, she's out and about, she's in New York City, she's in Times Square, she says she's living her best life. Uh, there's so many different takes on this story too. Uh, I just find it fascinating. Well, she left prison, she got picked up by her new husband and she's attending all these different, she attended the premiere of the docu-series, right? So yep. people are so enthralled by this story. You're right, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I agree. Now the lift, I haven't heard of this one. Yeah, I actually caught this uh, last week. Uh, Lyft on Netflix. Uh, this is fun. It centers around a professional thief and his expert crew attempting the ultimate heist, which is stealing $500 million in gold from a vault on a plane 40,000 feet in the air. Now, Kevin Hart stars in this. Uh, this one is fun for the family. I felt like this was very Mission impossible E. It's a little comedic. It's definitely drama. I kind of love seeing Kevin Hart do something uh, a bit different. You can catch Lyft on Netflix. Uh, also one that's great, you know, there's snow out. This one's safe for the family. Cuddle up and watch this at night. You know, this one's an easy one. Love that. Well, I started watching this next one, You Are What You Eat. I'm on episode two. It is fascinating. It scares me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is fascinating. So it's called, yeah, you mentioned it. You are what you eat, a twin experiment on Netflix. Uh, a 2024 American vegan documentary series. I'll say that again, a vegan documentary series. Uh, this one's on Netflix, as I mentioned. It's based on an eight-week study conducted by Stanford University that puts 22 sets 
of genetically identical twins on opposing but healthy diets uh, omnivore and vegan, super interesting documentary style. You can catch You Are What You Eat on Netflix. I, I think this is really fascinating because we're told so much on a daily, you gotta be vegan, you gotta be, have extra protein. This is fascinating. Uh, and there's some real fun uh, results that they come up with. Yeah, okay. I'm really excited. I'm you, excited. You'll have to let me know when you fast forward to the end what the results are. Josh, everyone's yeah. talking about salt burn. Oh, wait, did you see it? No. Okay, I saw it. Josh, I did you see it? I did see it. Okay, you cannot watch this with like I was anyone. Say, you can't, you can't watch you... it with your parents. You can't watch it with your, your teenage kids. Yes. kids. <laughs> <laughs> watch it, like, alone. watch it alone. Basically, yeah. Guys, I had a couple friends that said that they watched it with their family, and I was like, that was probably a poor choice, and they realized that afterwards. Uh, it's a fascinating film also. It's a 2023 uh, sort of comedy psychological thriller film. Sorry, uh, stars Barry Keoghan, Jacob Elordi, Rosamund Pike, Carrie Mulligan, set in England, England in the mid-2000s. The film follows an Oxford University student who becomes obsessed with a wealthy fellow student within his college who then invites him to spend the rest of the summer at his sort of eccentric family estate. Uh, this one, you guys, you've heard about it because it's been up for a ton of nominations. Definitely one to watch. Uh, you can catch Saltburn on Netflix. Here's my only issue with the whole movie. Uh, well, actually, I had a few. There's a. It, it takes a second to build up. The last 30 kind of minutes, 40 minutes of it is everything that you need, um, but it, it takes a little bit to warm up, right? Yeah, I, I was kind of like, where is this going? What's Where is this yes. headed? Yeah, and then those uncomfortable scenes. But I mean, I'm glad I watched it. It's always fun to be like in the know with everything people are talking about. And this is definitely yes. one of them. I just catch up on Instagram and TikTok, <laughs> and then I ask Melissa because I don't ever watch TV. So that's what I have you guys for. <laughs> There's a really interesting, uh, a few scenes in there were actually fully improvised. They made everybody oh, clear really? the set and they were fully improvised. So uh, unscripted scenes that were just like remarkably done uh, by some of the characters. Oh, interesting. Right. Thanks so much, Josh. Yeah, good, Josh, thank you so much. Good insight. Always I hope everybody can uh, stream on this snow day. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. All right, All right well, thanks. still ahead on this Tuesday afternoon.